Hello everybody, Ryan Turford here, and we're back. It's February, you know what that means. It's another unboxing of Video Games Monthly. So, if you, dear viewer, do not know what Video Games Monthly is, that's okay, I'm gonna walk you through it. It's totally cool. Video Games Monthly is a monthly subscription box where you can get three, four, five, or 10 games delivered directly to your door. It's a retro gaming subscription service. So uh, basically they offer games all the way back to the Intellivision and Atari 2600 all the way up to the Wii U. So pretty much any system that's not currently uh, being manufactured except for stuff like Sega CD or Saturn or something like that. Um, if you wanna know more about it, of course, their website, videogamesmonthly.com for all the pricing details and everything else that you need to know. Uh, so let's jump into this month's box. I do get the five game subscription, as you probably can tell by the title of this video. Um, yeah, let's jump into, into this. So. Let's try to open this as blind as possible. All right, so we got our normal reminder cards. So this of course says, hey, go update your library at the end of the month. This way they don't send you duplicates, um, which of course is one of the first things I do as soon as I stop the rolling the camera. Other thing of course is Video Games Monthly has a Facebook page, an awesome Facebook page with a cool community of course. Uh, if you go there, post uh, a picture of the games that you get in your box, you can win three free games in your next box. So that's pretty cool. We'll just throw those down there. I don't feel any other cards. Um, sometimes if they send an additional game um, or some other uh, thing, they will add additional cards of information, but it doesn't feel like it would be any. Now, first thing, Video Games Monthly, of course, always sends like a, a trinket of some kind. Usually it's Video Games Monthly branded, but this month, pretty special. We actually, they actually uh, told us about this on said Facebook page that I told you about. Um, basically, this is an issue of Old School Gamer Magazine, special con issue. Um, so we, we knew that this was coming. Um, I know from watching previous unboxings from last year that there was actually an offer to uh, subscribe to Old School Gamer Magazine. Now, I haven't actually checked this out yet, so here's just a page as a sample. Uh, I won't flip through the whole thing, of course, because I just want to read it after, after we're done filming here. So I'm going to put this down here. Um, it's all folded, so I'm going to have to like try and crease this out. But obviously, it's got to fit in this box. So I mean, what else are they going to do? So next up, so we got five games. I'll just grab them in any, any order. So the first thing we got, ooh, it's a blue cartridge. We got Tony Hawk's Pro Skater on the N64. All right, so Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, really fun game. I don't think I've ever played the N64 version of Tony Hawk 1. I played Tony Hawk 2 on the N64, but never the original Tony Hawk. In fact, I don't actually own the Tony, original Tony Hawk on any console, whereas I own like three different copies of Tony Hawk 2 because I have it on uh, PS1 and Dreamcast and PC. So it's just like, I have it on literally everything, but Tony Hawk 1, I don't actually have anywhere. So this is a really awesome uh, get, of course, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, really fun skateboarding game, still really holds up today. I do think Tony Hawk 2 is a better game, but this, I, I mean, Tony Hawk 1's no slouch. I, I definitely think that those two are the best two in, in the series probably, at least for me anyways, personally. So next up, we got a torn back label on this one, but we got, oh my God, yes. Super Return of the Jedi. This finally co completes my collection of the Super Star Wars uh, series on the Super Nintendo, because I actually, as a kid, I got Super uh, Star Wars and Super uh, Empire Strikes Back, but never Super Return of the Jedi. This was always the one I was missing. Um, the, the Super uh, series, of course, side-scrolling action game, action platformer, basically set in the Star Wars universe. They made one for every movie. They also did an Indiana Jones trilogy one, which I still really want to get, which is Indiana Jones' Greatest Adventures. Uh, but Super Return of the Jedi, uh, really fun, really cool game, made by THQ. I can't believe it, uh, that they made something cool. Uh, this game, really hard though, but uh, it's awesome to actually finally add it to my collection. I've always, I've rented that game, but I've never actually owned it. So this is actually really cool. So next up, we got an NES game. We got, oh my God, this is an amazing box so far. Three games I, I actually really love. So we got Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. So not just Punch-Out, Mike Tyson's Punch-Out, the OG version where basically Mike Tyson was still in the game. Uh, so of course, Punch-Out, really awesome uh, boxing game. Believe it or not, I didn't, I don't really love boxing, which is why like when Punch-Out originally came out when I was a kid, I was never really interested in it. I wasn't really bugging my mom to go out and get Mike Tyson's punch out. But as I've played it over the years as, a, as an adult uh, through the power of NES Remix and then buying it on the, the Wii U Virtual Console, just the, the, the other version of Punch-Out. 
Um, it's really cool to actually have Mike Tyson's punch out of my collection. Again, another really hard game. We got this and Super Return of the Jedi. So you guys are killing me with really hard games, but Mike Tyson's punch out, this is really awesome. I'm so happy to have this in my collection. It's one of those games uh, where I've always been meaning to get this game, but I've just, I've never gotten around to doing it. And Super Return of the Jedi has kind of been in the same boat too, so. So next up, I think I, I think I just spoiled uh, this top one for me, unfortunately. So we've got a sealed Dreamcast game. We got Coaster Works, Build the Ride of Your Life. So this is a, I'm guessing a roller coaster tycoon game, or it's a style game anyways. Uh, again, I really don't know much about this. I've seen other people uh, open video games monthly boxes uh, with this in it. So I know that this is um, one of the more common games that they receive, but uh, I'm really interested to learn more about this. So let's read the, the back. So you think you can design a better coaster than the pros? Prove it! Design and build, then ride your very own dream coaster. Yes, that's right, ride it. Because in the original Roller Coaster Tycoon, you couldn't ride the roller coaster. And it was really weird that you couldn't do that. Realistic physics combined with the look, feel, and sound of a real roller coaster put you in the front seat for the wildest ride of your life. Pretty cool, pretty cool game. Again, you design your own roller coasters. In fact, it's probably less of a uh, roller coaster tycoon game because it is more of a roller coaster building game from the looks of it, so pretty cool. Again, awesome that it's sealed. Uh, I really don't think this is gonna stand up though, so I'm gonna have to put this down. And last but not least, Something I added to the uh, my uh, my list of games I want to receive this month, Xbox. It's the only one that can fit in this case, which is why I know it's Xbox. We got A Tale of Souls and Swords. We got Soul Calibur 2 on the original Xbox. This is actually a game that um, I've told the story before on the Game Moose podcast. I used to have an original Xbox with a bunch of games. It was basically the console I played the most during uh, that generation. And I had Soul Calibur 2 for it, but like a dummy, I basically sold my Xbox collection uh, to buy my Xbox 360 at launch. Um, so I actually got rid of my copy of Soul Calibur 2. Really awesome to have them back in my collection though, because Soul Calibur 2, one of my favorite fighting games of all time. Um, even though I, the GameCube version is only better because it has a link in it, but the Xbox version is no slouch, especially since it runs in 720p, which is totally sweet. So I'm, I'm so happy to have this, of course. It's not complete, it is the Platinum Hits version, uh, but I am totally cool with that. Let's check out the disc before we go any further. Yeah, no scratches, like light smudges, but I can totally clean that up. Uh, yeah, should, should be awesome. So there we go, five awesome games. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna break for a second because ladies and gentlemen, for the very first time, I've heard your feedback, many of you, on Twitter have reached out to me, at Ryan Turford, of course, like you can, if you don't follow me on Twitter, and let me know that you want to see prices for these video, for, for the games in this video. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna break for the very first time. We're gonna get prices for the games in our box, and uh, we'll be right back. And we're back now with pricing. So I've tallied everything up on my trusty iPad here. Um, of course, I do want to mention this before we get into the prices. Uh, first of all, we pay $39.99 US dollars for this box before shipping. Um, again, I don't really factor shipping into the pricing because if you're gonna go order these games off eBay, or if I'm gonna go down to my local game store, I gotta pay $6 for the for transit. So like for the most part for the, the I think it's $6 anyways for shipping, six or $8. So I mean, for the most part, we're getting um, like I'm just nixing it from 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 the price count. Also, these prices are in U.S. dollars because I don't feel like going through the conversion of converting everything to Canadian. It, it's too much. It's too much. Um, also, I personally enjoy this box not necessarily for the monetary value. I do really like the curation of the box. Um, it's one of the main reasons why I've stuck with video games monthly for so long is I love the way that they curate everything. So then I discover games that I've never heard about, like Coaster Works, for example. This game could be really fun. And I just don't know anything about it. So I feel like that is value for me personally, but obviously everyone views value differently, which is why we're gonna go through the prices to see if this get box is for you. So first up, we got Tony Hawk's Pro Skater on the N64, $7.63. Pretty good, pretty good so far. Next up, we got Super Star Wars Return of the Jedi, $11.93. That's actually pretty good, pretty good. Uh, on our average box, I'd say like the average game we usually get is about eight to ten dollars in that in that ballpark. Uh, sometimes more, again, it usually fluctuates up and down. Uh, so the next up, Mike Tyson's Punch Out. I couldn't believe it was worth this much. Video Games Monthly, you're killing me. This is this is so awesome to have. Twenty dollars and ninety three cents. 
that's half the price of the box right there for one of one game that that's pretty pretty awesome plus it's in really good condition too like um unlike uh super star war uh, super return of the jedi which has a torn label like this is in very very good condition so i'm very happy with that next up we got the sealed poster works currently the lowest total uh variant value six dollars 79 cents that is the new price um but again I, I, I hold value in the fact that it's a game I've never heard of that I now get to try, thanks to thanks to the service. And last but not least, Soul Calibur 2. Um, now, it's missing the manual and the inserts, so I don't, I wouldn't consider this a complete version. Um, so what I did is I took the um, value of 519 of, of a loose version, and then 599, which is the complete version, cut them in half, and just call it 550. Because, you know, that's right there in the middle. That's probably what I would get if I, if I was to sell this today. So, grand total for this month's box, $52.78. That means we are up $12.79. Great value. Again, we, we usually want to get um, over the amount we pay for it. Um, I think that, that that's what we're aiming for every month. And again, I've noticed that each month it's usually either five or 10 bucks under, or five, or ten, five or 10 bucks over. Um, that's how this works. Of course, you want to find if you want to check out where I got these pricing uh, numbers from. I got them from PriceCharting.com, which I know a lot of people use. Um, so there you go. That was our video games monthly unboxing for February 2019. What do you think about the service? What do you think about video games monthly or any of the games I got in here? Is is Coaster Works? Cool. Let me know in the comments below. Uh, you can also hit me up on Twitter at Ryan Turford. That's T U R F O R D. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I've got some stuff coming out soon, so we'll talk about that later. Uh, there's a lot of it I just can't talk about it yet. So, but I'm excited. You can tell. You can see the excitement on my face. Anyways, that's gonna do it. I'm Ryan Turford. Thank you very much for checking out my unboxing, and I'll see you next month.